ugly wireframes. In my opinion, the uglier the better because it keeps them from thinking too much about the design. Um, so we put a little bit of instruction into these wireframes, like this here. We wanted that to be graphic typography, not just a web font. Uh, this is, is usually an image at this point. Um, slideshows, uh, show flyers, um, some stuff here that we'll talk about. Um, they approved those wireframes, and then we started, finally, that's, what, a month and a half into the process, um, digging into the design. Um, so there's a few arguments against WordPress, and it sounds like uh, one of the guys is, uh, he actually canceled that talk. There was, there was one person who was going to speak about keeping something away from, or not looking WordPress-y. But we've had a lot of arguments uh, just with other developers and other potential clients that WordPress sites look like WordPress. Uh, you can spot them. And I don't believe that at all. It's up to us to design things that don't look like each other. So um, that was a process argument. So once that was out of the way, um, custom page templates is something we took advantage of. And luckily with the architecture of WordPress, there were ended up being two, three? Three. Three. So the home page, content pages, and Humana Festival were, were it. So um, front end development played pretty heavily into this because of the, the way that the site was built. So um, again, how how we're pulling stuff out of WordPress and how the home page works. Um, we wanted a sense of discovery on the site, and I'll show you a little bit of that too. Um, and then front end control of the home page, because again, it's it's very branded for a specific event. Um, so this is what we got from the actual wireframes. And if you want to go back, and so this was the home page, obviously nice and ugly, and then we switch back to this. Again, it's, it, it achieved what we were looking for. Um, nice, big branding of the events that are coming up. Uh, we were able to use the fonts that they needed using the, the font base uh, CSS was nice. Um, and uh, all this stuff down here promotes the other things that they need to talk about. So it's not just one, uh, one event. We've got, this is also on, this is upcoming. So start to plan your visits. Um, this is today's, what's on today specifically. And then down here are specific posts that were, are for the home page. Um, this is that visit page. So we've got, again, we could have done it up to here without WordPress. This is, this is the built out site, but again, we're concerned about the user. Um, and this is the show page. And this, this is uh, something to talk about a little bit. They, uh, they were really interested in doing microsites when we first started the conversations. So in our minds, uh, if, we, if we had to build specific microsites for every little thing they wanted to do, then we've kind of failed as designers in solving a problem for them. Because every production they would have to do, they'd have to build another microsite. So the way that this is built gets them away from that kind of mentality because this entire section it effectively is a microsite. Everything for a Christmas carol can be contained in this. Do they want to do that for every single play or just the ones they do like Dracula and Christmas Carol? And Everything had that potential and they had lots of different types of events. So there were these productions, there's uh, something they do called Lobster Feast every year, um, fundraisers and what have you. The Humana Festival is a big deal. Uh, they wanted a microsite for that. So this was 
again, we wanted to get them out of that mindset because it's microsites are useful for a very short period of time and then they die. So this solves a few problems. Again, not just the content and the branding of the event itself, but the archival ability here. Um, this is using the permalink structure of WordPress. So when you're promoting a Christmas Carol 2010-2011 season, uh, it's, it stays there forever unless we destroy the site. So that I, I feel like that was a big win, and they're starting to get their heads around that and what they can do with that. Um, so, and it's not just a simple event calendar. We've got the ability over here to add navigation to that production. So it isn't, again, like a calendar display. You'll select a date, and it'll show you what plays, or you get one page or one little section of content. Kim? I was just going to extrapolate a little. They have all of these assets for each show, and they were locked into this mentality because of their completely inflexible CMS on their old site. They were unable to leverage all of those assets. Like, they have stage managers that will blog for their particular production. They have photographers for their set design that will take pictures and put them up on Flickr just for that production. And they wanted to be able to incorporate all of those assets to promote any individual show, but not all shows. And their current CMS before we built this site was unable to deal with that. And the only way around that was to build a microsite. So part of it was training the client that that is not the way it has to be. <laughs> and it, to be able to develop all of those assets on a show-by-show -show basis and not have to show glaring holes in other shows when those assets didn't exist. So it had to expand and collapse based on what was available for the individual show, which it was another reason WordPress was the, the right solution for this project. 3.0 gave us some really good flexibility there. We may not have been able to do it before 3.0, so we're pretty lucky they announced that and we were able to um, two of our guys went off to work camp mid-Atlantic and came back with some good information there about how custom post types and taxonomies could help this. Um, so again, you've got your social widgets here. This is, um, th there's the blog ability. So if they wanted to add a production blog here, they could do that. They could have an RSS feed for that. There's um, your little Facebook integration here so you can share things and, and Twitter and that kind of thing. There's a... Uh, Slideshows, there's an infinite amount of information that you can put here. Um, so, again, really successful and really get away from microsites. Let's so, integrate this the way we need to. Yes, so, what you've done is you've set up a microsite that's inside of the main site so that you don't have to build out those separate little pieces every time. So, is this like a, a format? So that when this one go, when this one goes, it gets when you're finished with Christmas Carol, it gets archived automatically, mm -hmm. and the next one can come into this space. Uh, with, somewhat, with a yes. With similar type of yes. thing, only using whatever that one has available, as far as the assets are concerned. Right. So with the template that we've done, um, and a show, which is this a show or an event? Same thing. It's a show. So shows are a custom post type now in mm -hmm. WordPress. So this is a show with a custom post type, and it it lives in WordPress just like any other post type will. So when you create a new show, you make it a custom post type, and you put all the information that you want to in. So uh, J Max is going to talk about some interesting things about how we actually implemented there, there, but we were able to do all of the archiving. You know, this will live five years from now if you go to that URL. Christmas Carol 2010-2011, it still lives. So, um, again, uh, microsite's kind of a dirty word in this context because, again, you want them to think about how your site and how the design can work for you instead of everything being, you know, they, they felt like everything was so different than what we usually do that it has to be a microsite. And that really wasn't the case. I mean, their whole, their whole organizational structure depends on these shows. So don't put it outside of the way you normally handle content. Uh, okay, I'm running through this really fast, so if you have questions, please ask. Uh, the development process here, um, 
the event management was really fun to come up with uh, because it wasn't a simple event manager where you've got, again, you've got a calendar, you click on the date, you see a show, that kind of thing. There's, there's, there are ways that these have to tie together in order for it to be used. Their whole production schedule for A Christmas Carol, you know, they might do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday at 7.30 and then Friday at 2 o'clock and 5 o'clock or something like that. So the way it handled these events needed to match what they did. Uh, the archiving there, again, there's, there's a big leveraging of what WordPress can do. Um, and again, it's all in their permalink structure. There's not much extra work we had to do. WordPress gave us a lot of, uh, a lot of abilities there to do this archiving. Uh, the cast and crew directory, this was pretty fun. Uh, cast and crew is a custom post type that's attached to a show. So you've got an actual section of cast and crew directory and you attach those to um, to a particular show, and that builds that archive that they're looking for uh, automatically. So that's, and, and that's a section that we want to build out later on. Um, posts were an interesting thing because they've got so many different, uh, actors as an organization have so many different ways that they want to send out information. Um, in the past, a lot of the posts that we've done has just been posts and news feed items. On this website, posts can feed the home page, they could feed a production blog. Um, what other areas are they feeding those posts? All of them. All of them, <laughs> yeah. I mean, any part of the site we can send a post to uh, based on the taxonomies there. Uh, and then a branded site login which, again, JMAC's going to get into a little bit deeper, but we wanted to brand the admin back in so they, they've got probably 12 to 15 people that are managing their site. We want to let them know that we're there for them, so the admin login has our logo on it, the dashboard has our phone number, um, that kind of thing. So let's not dig into Dreamweaver anymore. You guys do your marketing, we can do your development. And you know, let us be your partners on here. So, uh, the future of the site, we cranked the site out in about two or three months, and uh, we had a particular budget. We had to launch at a particular time. Uh, November first was the launch date for this, and it pretty much had to be up and ready. So, um, we we got it up. We didn't get as sophisticated with some of the features that we wanted to. So we've got probably a three-year plan with them to do some stuff here. So now some of this does not involve WordPress per se. Uh, WordPress doesn't handle secure forms very well. So a lot of the e-commerce uh, e stuff at this point is outside of WordPress. So uh, simple forms is something we're looking for for them. Uh, the demographic of people who buy season tickets and tickets is uh, skewed to the older generation. So uh, they've got some pretty complicated forms if you want to sign up for Humana Festival or buy season tickets or something like that. It's, it's a pretty difficult process and those forms are no joke. So uh, if any of you all saw uh, the Simple Scott uh, presentation for LGDA. He talked about a uh, a form system called Simple Vote that they did for the Obama campaign that really pushes everything on the development side and, and lets people have a more elegant solution for filling out forms and whatnot. So that, that's a goal for us in the future. Uh, Casting crew is. This is this magic puff beast that we want to eventually build. Uh, but cast and crew, again, is very important to Actors Theater. We've got this archival ability now, and we want to eventually be able to grow that more. So there's, there's a lot of opportunity there. Uh, show blogs. Uh, and this kind of gets into actors' con their own content management strategy. Um, they we built a lot of things that they can do now, but 
and they thought they would be doing it immediately, but as you all may or may not know,